Hello friends, welcome to our channel CBSE English, the topper's choice. In this video, we are going to discuss class 10th, 11th lesson, the proposal. Here we go. At the beginning, we'll talk about the author of this lesson. The author of this lesson or one act play is Anton Chekhov. Anton Chekhov was born on 29th January 1860 and died on 15th July 1904. He was a Russian playwright and short story writer who is considered to be among the greatest writers of short fiction in history. His career as a playwright produced four classics and his best short stories are held in high esteem by writers and critics. Chekhov practiced as a medical doctor throughout most of his literary career. Medicine is my lawful wife, he once said, and literature is my mistress. Theme of this play this play is a farce written somewhere between 1888 to 1889 by Anton Chekhov. The play is about the tendency of wealthy families to seek matrimonial ties. It is a satire of the land-owning class in 19th century Russia. The drama displays the greed of rich families to marry their children into other wealthy families with the aim of enhancing their wealth. Introduction to this play The proposal, originally titled A Marriage Proposal, is a one-act play, a farce, by the Russian short story writer and dramatist Anton Chekhov. It was written in 1888 to 1889. The play is about the tendency of wealthy families to seek ties with other wealthy families to increase their estates by encouraging marriages that make good economic sense. Ivan Lomo, a long-time wealthy neighbor of Stepan Chubukov, also wealthy, comes to seek the hand of Chubukov's 25-year-old daughter, Natalia. All three are quarrelsome people, and they quarrel over petty issues. The proposal is in danger of being forgotten amidst all this quarreling, but economic good sense ensures that the proposal is made. After all, although the quarreling perhaps continues. Summary of this play When the play begins, we see that Lomo comes to meet Chubukov at his house. Chubukov, who is a farmer, welcomes Lomo. He asks him why he is wearing formal clothes and whether he is going to attend a function. Lomo replies that he is not going anywhere. He has come only to meet him. Lomo appears excited and perturbed. He calms himself down and begins to tell him the purpose of his visit. He tells him that he came to him many times in the past also for his help, but he did not help him. Before telling the purpose of his visit, Lomo is excited once again. Chubuko thinks that perhaps he has come to ask for a loan. He makes up his mind not to help him in any way. Lomo once again begins to tell Chubuko about the purpose of his visit. But he once again becomes excited. He talks about himself 
in exaggerated terms. Chubukov asks him not to beat about the bush and to talk about his purpose of coming. Lomo gathers courage and tells him that he has come to ask for his daughter Natalia's hand in marriage. On hearing this, Chubuko becomes very happy. He goes in to call Natalia. But before this, Lomo asks him whether Natalia would give her permission for this. Chubuko replies that she will readily accept a match like him. Lomo is left alone in the room. His body is trembling with excitement. He thinks about his present life. He wants to settle the question of his marriage at once. He thinks that now he should not delay. He thinks about Natalia. She is a skilled housekeeper. She is educated and is not bad to look at. At this age, he should not expect a better girl than her. Now, he is 35 years old. Now, he should lead a regulated life. He is suffering from serious diseases like palpitation, excitement and insomnia. Because of these reasons, he should marry. Just then, Natalia comes in. Her father has not told her that Lomo has come to meet her. He only told her that a customer had come. Even then, she welcomes Lomo. Before Lomo can speak, she starts speaking. When she mentions his beautiful dress, he is again excited. Before he can talk about his marriage to her, he starts trembling. Natalia encourages him and he recovers. He says that he will tell her everything in brief. Even then, he cannot talk in a straightforward manner. He beats about the bush. He tells her that for the last many decades, their families have had good relations. Their estates are also adjoining. His oxen meadows touch their birch woods. Natalia protests against this. She says that the oxen meadows belong to her. They lay their claims to it. They start quarreling about the ownership of the oxen meadows. They shout loudly at each other. They do not calm down in any way. Chubuko comes in and finds them both quarreling. He is greatly surprised. But when he finds that they are quarreling about the ownership of the oxen meadows, he also becomes angry. Instead of calming them down, he also starts quarreling. He claims to be the owner of the meadows. He insults not only Lomo but also his family members. Lomo becomes more excited. He uses insulting words for Chubuko, Natalia and their family members. Lomo's palpitation increases and he becomes very perturbed. He goes out of the room. Chubuko says how the foolish Lomo dared to bring a proposal for Natalia's marriage. When Natalia hears this, she is deeply shocked. She is almost unconscious. She starts weeping and asks her father to bring Lomo back. Chubuko feels sad. He says that it is the biggest misfortune to be the father of a girl. He goes out to call Lomo. Lomo again enters the room. Natalia thinks that she will not annoy him this time. She tries to please him. She says that the meadows belong to him. 
she tries to change the topic so that he could propose to her but he is still not all right he is feeling disturbed he does not come to the point lomo starts praising the qualities of his dog guess which he has purchased for 125 rubles but natalia says that her dog squeezer which she purchased for 85 rubles is much better than lomo's dog guess both of them praise the qualities of their dogs now they start quarreling on this topic they again start shouting at each other in the meantime chubuko comes instead of putting an end to their quarrel he also starts quarreling in this dispute lomo's condition deteriorates and he falls on the chair unconscious both the father and the daughter think that he has died natalia starts lamenting that her chance of getting married has gone after some time lomo comes to his senses chubuko tells lomo that natalia is willing for marriage so he should marry her natalia expresses her willingness chubuko does not want to lose even a moment and joins their hands he asks them to kiss each other but soon they start quarreling again they start debating the qualities of their respective dogs chubuko tries to calm them down with this the play comes to an end now we'll discuss the characters of this play number 1 natalia the dramatist portrays natalia more as a character who with lomo helps to develop the middle and comic scenes of the play than as a heroine of this one act play the love sick cat natalia does not even know lomo's reason of arrival to her house in the very beginning of the play rather engages herself in a quarrel with lomo over oxen meadows and guess versus squeezer she is a lonely and sharp minded woman who is not willing to give 1 inch of their land to others but when she gets the wind of lomo's proposal of marriage she desperately wants him back even though she is brushed as an argumentative and quarrelsome woman she at once accepts lomo's proposal to spend her rest of the life with him number 2 chubuko chubuko is delineated as natalia's father in the one act play the proposal he wants his daughter to get married as early as possible and that's why he accepts lomo's proposal for marriage for his daughter though he doesn't like lomo to a great extent natalia seems to be burdened to her father and he desperately wants to get rid of her the dramatist's portrayal of chubuko considering his daughter a liability reflects the social life and mindset of the people encompassing marriage as a means to mitigate the burden on the part of a girl's father in spite of all these he acts as a gulf between natalia and lomo and wishes that they get married soon number 3 lomo lomo can be considered as the pivotal character in the one act play the proposal since the play revolves around the proposal offered by lomo for chubuko's daughter natalia being a typical land owner 
Palomo considers marriage as to maintain social status and relationships rather than an emotion involving personal feelings. He is desperately in search of a wife in his mature age. And that's why he is even prepared to marry Natalia who quarrels with him on petty matters. Although Lomo suffers from somewhat hypochondria and insomnia, yet he, not unlike that of Natalia, argues over some petty matters like small area of land, oxen meadows and hunting dogs. Now we'll discuss about the main points of this play. Lomo and Chubuko are both neighbors and landlords. Lomo comes to Chubuko with a proposal of marriage with Chubuko's daughter Natalia. Lomo is 35 and wants to lead a peaceful married life. He thinks that Natalia is an excellent housekeeper and not bad looking. He is excited and forgets the purpose of his visit. He starts quarreling with her over oxen meadows. Natalia opposes Lomo and claims that oxen meadows belong to them. Lomo is ready to show the documents to prove his ownership of oxen meadows. He is ready to make oxen meadows a present to her. Chubuko enters and adds fuel to the fire. Chubuko sides with his daughter Natalia. Lomo threatens to go to court. They quarrel and indulge in abusing and insulting each other. Natalia comes to know that Lomo has come there with a proposal of marriage. She blames her father for not telling her about it before. She threatens to die if Chubuko doesn't bring Lomo back. Lomo returns and now they pick up a new quarrel over their dogs. Natalia says that her dog Squeezer is far superior to Lomo's dog Guess. Lomo is excited and his palpitations start rising. He falls down in the armchair and loses his consciousness. Chibuko is confused and threatens to cut his throat or shot himself. Chibuko doesn't want to miss this opportunity. He makes them embrace and kiss each other. Chubuko blesses them a happy married life. So dear friends, if you have liked this video, please click on like, subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching.